Hello everyone. This is a short and simple video tutorial to illustrate the steps required to download and install the editor Notepad++ on a Windows computer. In this video I am using Windows 7, but these steps should equally work for Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. So what is Notepad++? Well, the basic default text editor that comes pre-installed on every Windows computer is called Notepad. However, Notepad is really basic and has very little functionality and usability features. I will now briefly open up Notepad. So, as you can see, it's a very basic editor. As you type, it does not display your current line number. There's no quick way to increase or decrease the size of the fonts, etc. It lacks many basic features, so I'm going to close that now. On the other hand, Notepad++ is a greatly enhanced and completely free open source text editor that may be used as a drop-in replacement for the default Notepad editor. Also, Notepad++ is a powerful source code editor that may be used to write programs in many different programming languages, such as Java, Python, C, C++, and so on. I'm now going to show you how to download and install Notepad++. The first step is to open up your browser. So, we go to Google and we can Google for the term Notepad++, as I'm doing now. So, the very first entry that comes up is the website notepad++.org. That's what we're looking for. So, click on it. <clears throat> and OK, so this is, this is it. This is the home page. So, straight away, I'll go to the downloads page and I'll select the most recent version. Um, there are different options that I can install. I'll choose the very first one, the installer. The one which it says, take this one if you have no idea which one you should take. So I shall click on that. Click download. It's only 7.8 megabytes. That's not too bad. So it's currently downloading and it should be finished in 6 seconds or so. Great. So once that is downloaded, great, it's downloaded now. I shall minimize this. I shall go to Windows Explorer. I shall locate the directory which I downloaded. In my case, it's in the downloads directory. So simply to install, double click it. So as you can see, it comes up with this option. Select language, by default I choose English. Um, and it'll guide me through the steps. It really is a case of just clicking next, next, all the way. I personally install my programs into a folder called C Software. So I'm going to do that now. C Software Notepad++, but you can choose the default installation folder if you wish. These are the various options. Um, I think we can go with the options just as they are. Um, there's an auto updater which is useful, that'll keep your program up to date. Um, plugins, yes, just verify the various things, that's fine. Just select next. The default settings is fine. Um, don't use uh, app data if you wish to use any. I actually prefer that all preferences documents are stored in the folder themselves. I'm going to select this option. You may choose to ignore it if you wish, but I, basically this option ensures that any preference files are stored in C software Notepad++ itself. Um, so I just prefer to have everything stored in one folder. So install, off we go. Um, and that's pretty much it. By default it'll run it the first time if this is selected, so I will leave it selected, click finish, and now it loads Notepad++, and here we go. There's one small setting I like to change, and that is, I go into Settings, Preference, um, and I say double click to those that close the document. So I select that and then I remove the close pad. That's just my own personal preference. You do not have to do this. But it simply means that if I just wish to close a window, so to speak, a document, I can double click on this and it'll close it without closing the entire editor. So that's it. So as you can see, when I type, it displays line numbers, which is really nice. I can highlight um, several lines of text and holding down control and my scroll key in the mouse I can scroll up and scroll down and increase the fonts which is really useful depending on what we're doing at any moment in time. So that's it. That's all, that's all that's involved in installing uh, Notepad++ on your computer. Thank you very much.